Uh, welcome to our January 2013 uh, blog. Um, lots to bring people up to speed with uh, since we did the last one of these. Um, we've just launched our brand new CLF website um, and if you're watching this now that's what you're using to, to see that um, which we think reflects the fact that now we've got uh, 10 academies opened and a new academy joining us in September. Uh, we think we wanted a new and fresh and slightly more modern feel to it so that people get the balance of understanding a bit about how the Federation works and what we do but at the same time being able to find the information that they need. So I hope uh, people feel that uh, our attempts to bring our, our website into the 2013 era uh, have worked. Um, in November uh, we had a visit from David Cameron, the Prime Minister, and the Cabinet who came and held their Cabinet meeting uh, in John Cabot Academy. Um, and again, the footage of this visit, which uh, was, was very special for us, you'll be able to find on this website. Um, but I think it's right to say it was the first time that the Cabinet have ever held their meeting in a school. Uh, and it was a great opportunity for us to talk to the Prime Minister, the Secretary of State for Education, about what we're trying to do in Bristol, Bath and Western Supermare for our students. And the highlight of the morning of the visit, I think, was that Cameron himself hosted a question and answer session with a hundred of our students from the Federation, from our primary schools and our secondary schools, um, around a whole range of issues, some to do with education, some not, some to do with university fees, some to do with tests. One of the Year 6 primary students had a particular issue about why he was being made to do tests in Year 6 and, and the Prime Minister answered those questions really well. So that was something that was a real highlight for us and we were delighted that we were able to host that. Um, we have a new primary academy joining us in September. Um, that school will be called Walls Court Farm Academy and it will be located in the Stoke Gifford Stoke Park Chiswick Village uh, area of South Gloucestershire just behind the University of the West of England where there is a brand new housing development and a new community being established there and the Primary Academy will be right in the heart of that. Um, and we're really excited about that. We've not had the opportunity to open a primary school in a brand new building um, completely from day one before. Um, with that in mind, we advertised nationally for a principal, a principal designate to start in January um, for that new school um, and from a good field uh, we were able to appoint Susie Weaver um, who is known to us as a member of our Teaching School Alliance. She's currently acting head at Ashley Down Infant School. Um, and Susie has started with us as principal designate and is now working flat out to make sure that we are ready to open that academy this coming September. Uh, in previous blogs I've talked about our role in the teaching school and the license provision part of that. Um, and that's something that we really wanted to embrace when the teaching school concept was introduced. Um, and we have just launched our very first cohort of MPQH uh, students. Um, now these are teachers um, currently in senior positions in primary and secondary and special schools across the southwest, obviously Bristol based and in this area, but also from Dorset, from Swindon, from Hereford and Worcester, um, and so from a, a, a quite a wide ranging uh, geographical area. Uh, we have 36 uh, colleagues who joined that route. Um, and I'm really pleased with the way that started. We, we want to celebrate the fact that we can deliver that programme in schools, not in conference centres and hotels, um, and make it as authentic and as real as we can by exposing that group to our academy principals who've been through exactly the same journey as those colleagues are about to go on. Linked also to the teaching school is our work around teacher training. Um, and this year we've uh, put in place a brand new teacher training programme which is being led by Chris Baker under the leadership of Claire Carter, the leader of teaching school. Um, and we have uh, 25 student teachers, um, some who've come to us through School Direct, some who've come to us through the traditional PGC route. But the programme that we've created alongside the University of the West of England aims to give them uh, more exposure to work in schools, um, more time in the classroom, more opportunities to work with outstanding teachers, uh, and outstanding middle leaders. And on the basis of that success, we are now looking to recruit 28 school direct trainees, not just in secondary, but also in primary for next September. Uh, and we're very clear that this is a real opportunity for us to continue our talent spotting agenda and grow our own teachers for the future, so that we have a, a steady supply of real talented young people, uh, some of whom, whom are career changers, who want to come into the profession um, and start their teaching career in a primary or a secondary academy, or possibly in both, um, as I'm very keen to blur the edges between primary and secondary and look at people that might take up roles uh, in our primary year five, year six classrooms, alongside maybe year seven and year eight classrooms as well. 
And the final point, I think, for this blog is um, the, the RSA uh, commissioned uh, a review of the Academy program, the Academy Commission, as it's been called, and further information about that if you want to download the report is from the RSA website. Um, but the launch took place in London at the RSA last week, and I was delighted that I was able to um, talk on the platform alongside Christine Gilbert, who's the former HMCI, um, but also um, the author of that report, about what the implication of academisation has been for our schools and the journey that we've been on. And I think the three messages for me around that academy review are one is the, the notion of how schools uh, can profit so significantly from working together. Uh, and as a leader of a federation, I, I think there's enough evidence to suggest that that's certainly true. The second one is about the need um, to I think, take a really close look as you become an academy at everything that you do. Um, so whether you're a converter academy or you're a sponsored academy, it's a real opportunity to reflect upon the journey that you've been on and the one that you're about to go on. And the third one I think is very simple, which is probably not related to academy or federation, but the relentless focus on improving the quality of teaching and learning alongside developing the quality of leadership are the real um, agendas around school improvement. And so the Academy Commission Review, um, I think, is a really exciting document and one that certainly reflects the journey that we've been on in the Cabo Learning Federation over the last five, six, seven years. Um, our next blog will be in February, just before February half term. Thank you very much.